every good fantasy series deserves a solid magic system is a fantastically cliche way to open a video essay about a magic system. Hi, my name is Jesse Pullman, I'm an author from Long Island, New York, and today we're going to talk about what is my bar none favorite magic system, that of Mercedes Lackey's Heralds of Valdemar series. Another great cliche is to open with an explanation of what a magic system is. Wikipedia pulls from Gamma Sutra to provide a fantastic one, stating that a magic system, quote, is a set of rules that regulate the magical effects that can be produced in a fictional setting, unquote. This is easy enough to explain, but difficult for fictional worlds to be consistent with, and that's fine since our world is dedicatedly lacking in examples of magic for authors to pull from, especially as inconsistencies can just be written off as new aspects of the world's magic. Another way to define it is that a magic system is a set of rules and mechanics that govern how supernatural powers work within a fictional world. Today I'm going to walk you through how magic works in Mercedes Lackey's World of Valgarth, the setting for her Heralds of Valdemar series. Valdemar is one of my favorite fictional worlds, with some of the most compelling characters I've ever seen written, and I highly encourage you to pick the novels up. However, fair notice, she's been working on them since literally the 1980s, so don't be surprised if you feel out of depth. I started with the last Herald Mage trilogy, which is available in an omnibus one-book format comprising the novels Magic's Pawn, Magic's Promise, and Magic's Price which centers on the titular last herald mage, Vanyal Ashkavran. While there are many other books in the series I've read, and many I haven't, this trilogy spends a great deal of time discussing the nature of the supernatural powers called gifts that characters possess. There are, as any genre-savvy reader might imagine, many different gifts. Any of these gifts can exist in a character to varying degrees, with most only having one or two of them in significant power. Mage gift stands out as the broadest form of power, since those with this gift are able to see and manipulate the flow of magical energy in the world. We'll deep dive on the nature of magical energies in a bit, but consequently it's worth spending some time on the others now. There are the healing gift, empathy, and mind healing for healers, bardic gift for bards, and the heraldic gifts including, but not limited to, farsight, foresight, fire starting, mind speech, channeling, as well as, of course, the catch-all of wild talents, that can perform extraordinarily niche functions, such as being able to sing away someone's pain. Because there are so many, and many are self-explanatory, it would be a bit redundant to run down a full list. Some of the more esoteric gifts are fetching, which is the ability to manipulate objects without touching them, including teleportation. Empathy, which is the ability to feel and manipulate the emotions of others. Bardic gift, which is the ability to make people feel emotions through the use of singing or playing music. Mind speech, which is your basic telepathic communication and varying raiments of effectiveness and channeling, which allows bearers of this gift to funnel magical energies. These gifts are frequently considered mind magic to separate them from mage gift forms of magic, although synergizing them with mage gifts can boost the user's abilities significantly. But their overall power levels are kept remarkably consistent within Lackey's magic system. A character may possess a strong primary gift with weak secondary ones, and will have to be clever to figure out how to use their less potent abilities to solve problems. When it comes to the actual magical magic of the world, however, the magic manipulated by characters who have the mage gift, I simply start to drool. To begin with, all living things in the world radiate a small amount of life energy. That life energy slips off of them to form tiny to torrential streams called ley lines. These ley lines sometimes cross with one or more others, forming what are known as nodes, which can be incredibly powerful and dangerous sources of magic. Most people cannot see or interact with these rivers, but Mage Gift allows someone to not only use their own life energy, but, in the case of Master and Adept class mages, the ability to manipulate ley lines and nodes as well. These things are, of course, dangerous. Magic is powerful, and even mistakes made with ley lines can prove fatal to those who aren't born or with or trained in how to use a powerful enough Mage Gift. Once harnessed, this energy may be used to create numerous magical effects. Shields, illusions, enchantments, summonings, and many more. One of the most used spells in the novels is the Gate, where a mage of Adept rank creates a portal between two places and traverses them. Of course, there are limitations to spells this grand, such as the fact that the energy for a gate has to come from the mage themselves and not from nearby nodes. If I may be so bold as to offer some postulations and analysis, first off, there are fairly clear limits on what gifts and magic can do. Second, gifts are quantifiable in that their limits are generally known to both the characters and the reader. Third, gifts take time and training to master. This lets Lackey show the reader both the character's investment in their development and how gifts function in a controlled setting before they are unleashed in a crisis. And last off, a well-used lesser gift is generally better than a poorly used strong one, reflecting that time and training.
Thanks again for joining me. I'm really bad at making graphics, as you no doubt know by now. But if you dig this type of video essay, I'm happy to make more, and I'm really glad I got to explore some Mercedes Lackey. I'm also up for answering your writing questions and all that jazz, so check back on this channel for more content. Use the subscribe button if you want. It helps this channel out. If you want to see my writing, check out jpolmanwriting.com for more information about all of that. I'm on Amazon as well. You can just search my name and you'll, I'll pop up. Uh, thank you all again so much. Have a great day.